hello viewers welcome back to this channel so in today's video we are going to learn how to integrate a function so titled integration so integration generally is the reverse of differentiation integration is the reverse of differentiation we said under differentiation that differentiation is the process of finding the derivative of a function so let's say i have a function y is equal to 2x squared plus what? 3. We said to differentiate this function, we differentiate y, we differentiate x. So that's going to be differentiate y, differentiate x. Okay? So once I do that, I come to this part. So I'll be saying that if I want to differentiate this function, which is 2x squared, all that I will do is to multiply the 2 by 2 and subtract 1 from what? The exponent. That's going to give me 2 multiplying 2, okay? I have my x repeated, I have 2 here minus 1. And we said the differential of 3 or as a constant should be what? 0, so plus 0. So therefore, I can say that dy over dx, differentiate to y, differentiate x, should give me what? 4x to the power of 1. This is the same thing as what? 4x. So this is why we talk about when we're talking about the issue about differentiation. But when it comes to integration, we want to reverse this derivative back to the original function so that's what we mean by what integration so integration is the reverse of differentiation okay so once we've gotten that baseline idea then we can straight away talk about integration so generally we have two approaches when it comes to integration we have what we call the definite integral we have what we call the definite integral the definite integral and we have what we call the indefinite integral. Indefinite integral. Okay? We have definite integral and indefinite integral. Indefinite integral simply means that in this function, there is no limit. In this function, there is no limit. When it comes to definite integral, it tells us that in this function, there is what? A limit. So as we move along, you get to know the limit I'm trying to what, put across. So generally, we are saying that to integrate a function, there is a symbol or sign that we use to integrate a function. We call it as what? Elongated what? X. It's more like an X that we have been stretched to kind of long like this. So we call it an elongated what? X. All right? So if I want to integrate, let's say, a function with this symbol, integration, integral symbol, integral sign, to be equal to, let's say, X, okay? Let's say X to the power of what? N then I have what we call the x here. So any function that you see as an integration, it should have the x as part of what? It. Is that okay? So if I want to integrate this function, simply it should be equal to, by integration, it should be equal to, so I have what? My x to the power of n. All that I will do here is to add 1 to the n. So I'll add plus 1 to the n. So plus 1 to the n. Okay? And then divide the result of what? The exponent by the whole what? function in here which is what the x so that's going to give me what n plus what one but because here this function alone is an indefinite integral so this is what we mean by indefinite integral by indefinite integral there is no limit at this end if we were to definite integral you have see a limit at this end and at that end here but because there's an indefinite integral that's why you will see this limit so for you to integrate, all that you need to do is to add 1 to the exponent. And after that, the result you get from the exponent, you divide by that particular term or that particular function. So because there's an indefinite integral, I will choose what we call plus what a constant, which is what should be k or c or anywhere we want to use. So let's say k. So this is generally how we integrate what a function. Let's take an example. Let's take an example to clarify this. Let me use this part to actually explain the example. Let's say we have a function that we are asked to integrate with our elongated x, right? Let's say there's a function, 3x dx. We are asked to integrate this function. We are asked to integrate this function. How do you integrate this function? It's very simple. So what I'm going to do here is to tell us that here should be equal to, here should be equal to, here, all that we're going to do is to add 1 to the exponent x here. Because remember, 3x is the same thing as 3x to the power of what? 1. So I'll add 1 to the x and then divide the result by what? The whole of 3x. So that is going to give us what? 
x to the power of 1 plus what? 1. And then divided by 1 plus what? 1. This is what we mean by what? Integration. And because this is an indefinite integral, we we'll introduce what? A constant, say k. Okay? So by that way, we can see that therefore we have what? 3x to the power of 2 divided by what? 2 plus what? k. So once you are done with this, you are done. So this is what we call an indefinite integral. By indefinite integral, there is no limit attached to it. So that's how we differentiate what? Indefinite integral. Let's take another example. So let's say this A. B. We are asked to integrate this function. Let's say this time around is what? 3x squared plus 2. 3x squared plus 2 dx. So to integrate this function, the simple all I want to do is to integrate them term by term. So here is an addition of what? Integration. Addition of integration. So I'm going to integrate them term by term. So in this case, it becomes what? 3x. Okay. Remember, this is an indefinite integral. So that you introduce what? A constant, right? So you have 3x to the power of 2. And I'll add 1 to the, the 2 as the exponent. And then divide the result by 2 plus 1. Right, and I'll do the same with that of what b2. Remember, the two here can be written as what 2x to the power of what zero. I hope we accept that that the two x can be the two here that you see can be written as what 2x to the power of zero because any number to the power of zero is what one, the exception of what negative number. Is that okay? So 2x to the power of zero should give me what one. So if that is the case, I can write this as what 2x to the power of what zero, and we have the two back. So I'll add what one to what the zero. So that's going to give us plus two x to the power of zero plus what one. Okay. Since an indefinite integral, you introduce a constant plus what k. Okay. So therefore, we arrive at what three out of three. Then you have x q plus two x because zero plus one give me what. 1. So that's going to give me 2x plus what? K. So therefore, 3 cancel can cancel what? The 3. 3 are here, 3 are here can cancel. We can have what? X cube, okay? Plus 2x plus what? K. And then you are done. So this is how we have the function when you want to integrate the sum of the function. So thank you for watching this video. So in the next video, we will take on to the integration of what? A fractional function and other issues that will be dealt with. So I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.